Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 154, Default Web Link Set. In our last tip, I provided a high-level overview of Web Link Sets, which allow you to manage groups of internal and external links, which is useful for implementing areas such as the main navigation menu of the portal. In this tip, I'm going to dive deeper into the default Web Link Set. There's a special web link set named Default. This web link set is automatically managed by the Portal Studio. So when pages are created, they're automatically added to the menu based on the sitemap of the portal. Changes made to web pages directly in the Portal Management Model Driven app will reflect in the default menu once loaded in the Portal Studio. This web link set should not be updated manually using the Portal Management app or the legacy frontside editor. If you want to hide a page from the default menu, you can do this by going into the pages and navigation area in the portal studio, clicking the ellipsis for the page and selecting hide in default menu. If you want a completely custom menu, you should use a different web link set. You can then update your header web template to use the different web link set or you can select the header in the Portal Studio and change the Navigation Menu dropdown. If you don't see the Navigation Menu dropdown, that usually means you've already customized the header yourself, and the Portal Studio can no longer find the code to change to update the main menu. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the PowerApps Portals tip number 154 on default web link set useful.